it's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. Check it out. I changed up my background a little bit. I was inspired by my Dollar Tree <laughs> Halloween finds. I still have a lot of obvious falls not over. I still have a ton of candles to review from Bath and Body Works. But I just started to put a little bit of my Halloween in here, including my Bath and Body Works Bat Globe. How exciting is that? So, Today, I actually have, this came like two days ago, and I haven't had a chance to do it yet. This is my Kringle, Cal, Kringle Candle Halloween haul, but it is not the pre-order. I have to call Kringle next week. I have no idea what's going on with their pre-orders. The pre-orders look like this. They're kind of these limited edition tall candles. Um, they were supposed to come, I think, in mid-September. They have not shipped yet. They did bring out some new country candles, um, like about a week or two ago. A lot of them are sold out, including the one I have. I also got a collection of the Daylights that I want to show you guys because I like to kind of try before I buy with these. And they're cute little candles, so I did pick up six of those. So let me show you my Kringle haul. First up, I did get the Country Candle Cauldron Spell. Oh my gosh, you guys, this definitely smells a lot like the, um, the Yankee, uh, Black Magic. Got a little bit of that going on, and it kind of smells leathery. I like this one. You know me, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, <laughs> and this definitely reminds me of Potions Class. Check that out. I love the cauldron. I had to put this one in my collection. I will be reviewing this one. I can't wait. I'm getting all excited about Halloween. Next up, I got the soy candle. This one is called Pumpkins. These were a little on the pricey side. They were $24.50, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to splurge. They're super cute. This one, you guys, oh my gosh. I have to get the scent notes up for you on this one. So this one actually contains a scent in it that I've been trying to place for a while. <laughs> Let me read the scent notes on this one. This one is still available. The scent notes are rich chocolate, creamy pumpkin, sugar cane, milk, spice, sweet vanilla, and anise. Oh my gosh, you guys. This one is like almost exactly like the hot cocoa and scream from Bath and Body Works. I'd almost call this a dupe. This one has a little bit more bite to it, but I've been trying to figure out what they put in Hot Cocoa and Scream to make it a little bit more um, spicy, and I think I, I think it's the anise. Do you remember, I, oh my gosh, I remember these all the time. In the 70s, my mother always had a candy dish out with the, um, the square anise candies, and it wasn't my favorite candy, <laughs> but I would eat them, and I'd be like, I really kind of like these. It's kind of like a licorice cola scent, um, or taste, it, it's definitely, when you smell anise, you know it, <laughs> but, um, I always, like, when I smell it now, I'm very nostalgic for it, sometimes I do buy those little square candies, but I think that's what's giving hot cocoa and scream that extra little bite to it. I smell it a lot in this one, so this is a white wax, I cannot, whoops, <laughs> I cannot wait to burn this one, you guys, I don't know, Chocolate with anise now, I think is my new favorite scent. So I was so excited to get that one. Learning something new every day. Um, the next thing that I got were these, oops, um, these cute little daylights. Um, let me look up the, um, let me the do they have the, uh, the fall collection here, autumn. Um, I'm not going to read all the scent notes on these. I picked up a lot of the tiny ones because like I said I like to try before I buy on these these are three dollars the first one is maple sugar cookie I'm just trying these out I've not tried these yet you guys so this is new I like this one so this is definitely a a maple sugar you know the maple sugar candy um that you get like in the country stores, we have the, we have a lot of those here in Ohio, especially um, like south of here. We have um, 
a lot of this one called Richard's Maple Products. Oh my gosh, it's like walking back in time. The store is like a hundred years old, and they have all the like the little maple sugar products. I love maple sugar. Um, we have a lot of maple sugar festivals around here. It smells just like maple sugar, like the the candy. It's not super strong, but I like this one. Oh my gosh, that's a nice small scent. Um, next up, we have apple cider cake. This one, this one is intriguing to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This one is strong. I don't even need to rub it. Oh, my gosh. I love this one. What are the scent notes on here? It's apple cider cake. This one is really nice, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Let me see if I can find um, the apple cider cake. Uh, I think this is definitely one of the, um, the big new scents. So, this one is Macintosh apples, um... Andrew pear, cinnamon, allspice, mulled cider, caramel butter, vanilla swirl, white cocoa, and cassia root. Oh, this one's nice. This one's really good, you guys. Oh, I might have to get the full-size candle on that one. That's a good one. Um, next up, I have lava cake. I'm wondering if this is similar to um, the Bath and Body Works. I don't know about this one, you guys. Lava cake is a little bit light. I'm not sure I like this one. Let me look at the scent notes on this one. It is melted butter, crushed coffee beans. Okay, it's got a oh, raw coconut. Ugh. Um, dark cocoa powder, tonga bean, smoke, vanilla e extract, brown sugar, and patchouli. What the heck? This is patchouli in it? I don't know if I love this one, you guys. If you like dark chocolate... I can't really smell the patchouli. You know I love patchouli. I'm not sure I like this one. It's okay. It's got. I'm going to have to burn this one. I might review this one. This is interesting. This is intriguing me now. Coconut, patchouli, and coffee. That's really interesting, you guys. Okay, what am I on here? Um, caramel chocolate. Oh, this one looks really good. Okay, let me find this one. I might as well just look at um, the set notes on these. Caramel chocolate. Oh, this one's nice. Oh, I like this one, you guys. Citron peel, golden toffee, molasses. I love anything with molasses, you guys. Brownie bits, drizzled fudge, candied caramel, white chocolate, and tonka bean. <gasps> oh, this one's nice. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is definitely on my list. I'm definitely into caramel chocolate. Um, I got one that my mother was like, oh, you ought to get this one. I wish I got pumpkin cheesecake instead. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure about this one. I'm a little nervous about this one, you guys. I don't even see this one. Oh, here it is. You know me and coconut in the in the fall and, and at Christmas. Let me try it. Let me try it. I don't like this one. Toasted coconut, marshmallow, cinnamon, buttercream. It's got praline in it. Usually if you put praline in something, I love it. This is frosted coconut snowball. My mom's getting this one. She can put it in her room. No, 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 no. Um, the final one I got is, I have not smelled this one yet, and I'm super intrigued by it. I haven't, this is, this is like all new to me, these. Pumpkin French Toast. I'm really curious about this one. Let me pull up the scent notes. Uh, this one, I don't know why, I was, when I saw Pumpkin French Toast, I'm like, ooh, I wonder what this one is. Okay, so this one is. A hearty harvest of pumpkin with cinnamon, brown sugar, nutmeg, golden toffee, maple butter, vanilla extract. Okay, you guys, let me try. This one is interesting, you guys. I gotta think about this one. I'm smelling the cinnamon very heavily on this one. The pumpkin cinnamon... Maybe a hint of that maple butter. It doesn't smell like French toast, though. I don't know. But it's pumpkin French toast. I don't know, you guys. I like it. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to burn a couple of these. I might get full sizes of a couple of these. I don't know. Um, I have to see how much how much fall overload I can do. Um, a couple of their other newer scents are... Um, I really wish I had, oh, they have black pepper and gin. 
ap okay, apple cider cake I got. The other new one that I wish I got was the pumpkin cheesecake. Oh my gosh, that one looks so good. So if I had to say my favorites, um, definitely this apple cider cake. This one is awesome. It's super strong. This one is a yay. Kringle does a really good job on apples. Um, maple sugar cookie, I like. It's really light, though. There's not a lot of scent going on, but it smells really good. Um, caramel chocolate is amazing, and it's strong. I love this one. Um, a big, ugh. <laughs> coconut marshmallow. I'm just sorry, you guys, because so many of you love coconut. Can't do coconut. No. Um, lava cake, I'm intrigued by. I'd like to get a full size. I'm going to burn this one, maybe the small one, because I'm intrigued by this. This is a very unique scent. It's very um, chocolatey with an interesting bite to it. It's not boring. And then um, pumpkin French toast, I'm also intrigued by. I got to burn this one. So I'm, I'm definitely intrigued by those. I think I'm most excited about this one, though, the chocolate with the anise. Oh, my gosh. So I will definitely review these two big ones. I will probably call Kringle next week to find out what's going on with my pre-order. But thanks for hanging out with me. I'm so excited to get these um, new scents going for fall. I love smelling all new fall scents. <laughs> I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.